Well guys, Apple definitely threw us for a curveball. Big question is, will we be getting air tags? or not. So with the announcement of Chipolo now working in the Find My app, the big question is, is Apple AirTag still coming to market? I personally knew that third party accessories were going to be able to work in the Find My app, but I knew it wasn't coming just yet. Actually back at CS in January, Belkin showed off one of their new headphones and they told us that it's going to work in the Find My app. So if you lost it, you can ring it and you can find your headphones. The thing is, is that this was still kind of new. They didn't tell you when it was coming. Apple really didn't announce anything about the Find My app that was gonna work with third parties. But by Belkin telling us that it's gonna work with the Find the My app, I kind of you know put the pieces together and knew that there would be third party accessories. But what I didn't know was that they would allow something like Chipolo or a tile to also work in the Find My app. Because of the Apple AirTag, why would they allow the competition like Tile and Chipotle to also work with the Find My app? Kind of defeated the the point. But it is official now. Chipolo and Belkin and I forget the name of the bike um, manufacturer. It's a cool bike. It's a $2,000 electric bike I took a look at and I definitely want one. It has a built-in tracker in it that works with Find My App. But these three partners are going to be the first products that work in the Find My App in addition to Apple products. But the big question here now is Apple AirTags. Will it be coming or not? So Chipolo is going to be releasing the Chipolo One Spot that's going to work with the Find My App in June. I believe there's going to have pre-orders in May. I'm not quite sure on pricing yet. They haven't officially released it. But my guess is probably around $35. It's going to be a little bit more than their normal Chipolo One, which is $25. And their Ocean Edition is also $35. That Special Edition is going to be $35. And I think this Chipolo One Spot Special Edition is also going to be $35. I've always been a big fan of Chipotle. I've done a lot of reviews on them and they're one of my favorite Bluetooth trackers. But now this opens a lot of doors for them. It expands their network incredibly where they go from a couple million users, active users, to hundreds of millions of active users. And really now a consumer that loses their device or their Chipotle One spot can rely on the Apple network to help them find their misplaced things. You will be able to ring your device from the Find My app. I saw photos of that being able to. I don't think there will be those out of range notifications. And instead, they have said it's going to have lost mode just like other things that are in the Find My app. And if someone else finds it, they can go into their Find My app and actually give them a message um, which you kind of instruct. It can give you your phone number. I think there's an email. It's just ways to contact you so that person can actually get that device back to you. I don't think it's going to work with the Chipolo app anymore. There's a possibility it could work with both. They do mention it is exclusively for Find My app, but I've seen other companies say exclusively for a Apple app, like the Home app, but then it works also with their native app, also with that brand's native app. So I'm not quite sure if it's going to work with both or just with the Find My app. They also said the Chipolo One spot's going to have a one year battery life but I've done a review of the Chipola one and they've always said it was a two year battery life so it's kind of a reduction in battery life not that big of a deal in my my personal opinion I think a one year battery life is good enough it's easy to remember to change it hopefully it will give you a reminder in the find my app but I still would like to see a two or three year battery life I would also like to see a rechargeable Bluetooth tracker and I think we really need to move in it to a rechargeable Bluetooth tracker model hopefully in the near future. I'll leave a link down below and get more information about the Chipotle One Spot. And you can sign up for a uh, email list that way you get notified of when it's available. And if you buy it with my promo code and link, I think you get like a couple bucks off. So definitely check out the link down below. The question is, is where does AirTag sit now? Because they are going to do something very similar. I'm also wondering about Tao, which is the largest Bluetooth tracker company out there currently on the market. 
Where do they sit with the Find My app? They've had a couple issues with Apple previously, I think back in January of 2020. They were in a congressional hearing or antitrust hearing against Apple. I remember getting all these messages on my phone saying, your towel is tracking you, are you okay with this? And I would say yes, and two days later, I would get the same message over and over. And that was a real issue that Tao had with Apple. And they were not doing this with their own products, but they were doing this with third-party apps. I think that came to a stop. I haven't got those messages in a long time. But with these previous issues, I'm still curious where Tile sits currently. I would love that it would be part of the Find My app also. I think competition is good for everybody. But on the other hand, I also see Tile being bought out or being partnered with Google. I actually did a video about this Tile and Google partnering up. They actually made an announcement a couple years ago and they actually have some integration with Tile now can be connected directly to a Google Home Nest device. You no longer have to have your phone on. It can directly connect to the Google Nest device and ring it if you happen to lose your keys or your Tile. You don't have to have your phone nearby. And I said in that video, that type of partnership will lead to bigger partnerships. So I'm curious where that is going to lead to. Will Tile be part of the Google system? Will they be bought out by Google? Or will Tile stay separate and work with Google and Apple both at the same time? It's still unknown. Now coming to AirTags, personally, I still think AirTags will be coming. They do add some value, not just as for a Bluetooth tracker. I think, yes, they're gonna be nicer. They're gonna be built better. They're gonna be shiny. They're gonna be the hot new item from Apple, but they also have to have something different than Tile and Chipolo. And I think the key here I've talked about before is UWB or ultra wide band that's really going to pinpoint where your device is. Not only outside the house where you can actually have like an augmented reality, you can turn around and find which direction your device is in and as you get closer, it'll tell you exactly where it is. But then you can also use it in your part of your smart home. So if you're in a particular room or even, it can probably be even narrowed down to even more to one particular part of your room it will trigger a smart home automation based off of where you are in that room because you're going to have a HomePod mini in each room which also has ultra wide band. It will know where your Apple AirTag is in relationship to your HomePod mini. The ultra wide band that should be in AirTags that's already in your iPhone, I think it's iPhone 11 and above, and it's also in your HomePod mini is definitely going to be a game changer. Adding that spatial awareness is definitely going to open up a lot of doors and possibilities, things that we're not even thinking about yet. Chipola has never worked with the ultra wide band to the best of my knowledge, and I don't know if they have plans to, and if they did, will Apple allow this in the Find My app where I think the AirTags, that's what's gonna make those so special. On the other hand, their competition for the ultra wide band currently is gonna be the Samsung Smart Tag. Now they haven't released the ultra wide band Smart Tag. I've actually reviewed their just a standard Bluetooth tracker on this channel. It's just a normal run of the mill Bluetooth tracker that only works with Galaxy phones. Because of that, they're limiting and they're cutting off themselves at the knee. So they really have to expand that to other phones. Even if it's just other Android phones, they really gotta expand it. And just having Galaxy phones is a huge limitation. So if they do the exact same thing with their ultra wide band model Bluetooth tracker, it's not even gonna be a game changer or even a competition for the AirTag. Now there's going to be huge privacy issues with AirTags just because of the nature and, and how people react to new technology like this. But I've answered these privacy questions before in a previous video. I think GPS trackers have the same privacy issue that a Bluetooth tracker like the Apple AirTag is going to have. And GPS trackers have been around for years and no one's making a stink about it. Yes, it'll make it cheaper and easier easier to track somebody. Apple's gonna do everything within their power to protect your privacy and to make sure that you're not being tracked unknowingly. Now when it comes to price, I originally thought when I heard about AirTags, that it was gonna be around $59 for 
for one device and probably around $99 for two devices. When I heard that Samsung was gonna release their devices, I brought the price down just a little bit. But now with Chipolo being able to work with the Find My app and knowing that the competition for the ultra wide band is going to be the game changer here, I think a AirTag is back up to the, around that price, so about $59, $60 for one device or $100 for two devices, which is almost double than the price I think that the Polo One Spot's gonna be at, about $35. I think there's gonna be a market for both products, both for Chipolo, there's gonna be a market for AirTags, and who knows what's gonna happen to Tile. They're definitely gonna lose some market share here. I think they have gonna have no choice but to either the partner up with Google, Samsung, Apple, there's gotta be some partnership here for Tile. I think it's gonna be interesting to see other partners that's gonna work with the Find My App. It's gonna be interesting to see what Chipola does and what Tile does, and I'm super excited for AirTag. What do you guys think? Will Apple AirTags be announced? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you guys on the next video.